Hello everyone, myself Farva Hita, Assistant Professor of Computer Science Department from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. I am here to discuss a topic in Object Oriented Analysis and Design. We are discussing here about UML diagrams. To know about the concepts of UML diagrams is the objective of learning this topic. UML means Unified Modeling Language. Okay, so Unified Modeling Language, which is a visual language for specifying or constructing and documenting the artifacts of the system. This language is mainly used to specify, construct, or document the artifacts of the system. This UML is the de facto standard diagramic notation for drawing or presenting the pictures. Okay, so UML is composed of the following graphical diagrams, which are class diagram, use case diagram, behavior diagram, interaction diagram which is further splitted into two that is sequence diagram and communication diagram. Then the state chart diagram, activity diagram, implementation diagram which is split into component diagram and deployment diagram. So the class diagram which describes the structure of a system by showing the system's classes their attributes and the relationship among the classes. Okay, So, first we are going to see about class diagram which means it is a structure of the system by which shows the classes, individual classes, their attributes and their relationship among the classes. So, this will be displayed in the class diagram and considering the use case diagram, this use case diagram which describes the functionality provided by a system in terms of actors and their goals which represents the use case and any dependencies among those use case. Okay? So, we will be having certain use cases which describes the system or the functionalities of the system and which will be associated among themselves to show the dependencies among them. Now, let us see about behavior diagram which has a subdivision that is interaction diagram. Okay, So, interaction diagram uh, is of two types that is sequence diagram and communication diagram. In the case of sequence diagram which shows how objects communicate with each other in terms of a sequence of messages. Okay, So, each, each um, object will be communicating with the messages by sending and retrieving messages. So, that we call it as sequence diagram. Okay, Sequence of messages will be sent and received from the objects on this also indicates the lifespan of the object relative to those messages and considering about communication diagram this shows how the interactions between the objects or uh, parts in terms of sequence messages so that we call it as communication diagram. Now, let us see about the state chart diagram. The state chart diagram contains certain states and the state transmissions of the system. Okay? So, states and state transition will be describing this state chart diagram. And considering about activity diagram, this activity diagram mainly describes the business and operational step by step workflow of components in a system. An activity diagram which shows the o o overall flow of control. Okay? So, this mainly this resembles like the flow chart which shows the overall flow of the activities. Okay? So, that comes under activity diagram. Considering implementation diagram which is further divided into two that is component diagram and deployment diagram. So, this component diagram which describes how a software system is split up into components and also shows the dependency among those components. And considering about deployment diagram which describes the hardware used in the system implementation and the execution of environment and artifacts which are deployed on the hardware. So, this is of deployment diagram. There are three ways to apply the UML and UML as a sketch is the first one and UML as blueprint is the second one and UML as programming language is the third one. So, UML as sketches the informal and incomplete diagrams which are created to explore the difficult part of the problem or solution space which is exploiting the power of visual languages. And considering about UML as blueprint which is relatively a detailed design diagrams which is used either for reverse engineering as well as the forward engineering. And UML as programming language means you are going to implement it in some programming languages that is completely executable specification of a software system in UML that is executable code will be automatically generated. 
and there are three perspectives to apply the UML that is 